Let's go straight to our next story, which has to do with the minimum wage. Now, Peter Ozo Esson, the Sec Gen um, Secretary General of the Nigerian Labor Congress, has assured Nigerian workers of the payment of the reviewed minimum wage before the end of 2018. Mr. Ozo Esson gave this assurance in an interview on Tuesday in Abuja, and according to him, in spite of the delay caused by the salary break, the tripartite committee involved in the review of the wage will conclude its work on or before the 4th and the 5th of September. We believe, and I quote, we believe that initial expectation that by September a new minimum wage should come on board. We think that the government should still be able to deliver that to Nigerians. Nigerian workers will continue to demand that from the government. And as soon as this report is submitted, government should do the needful before the National Assembly because that is the process. Chukudi, 4th and 5th of December, of September, I beg your pardon, is around the corner. We're already at the end of August. <laughs> how possible is this? How important is this? And how applicable is this minimum, new, quote-unquote, new minimum wage? Let's be sincere. Some people have not even received their salaries. Some people have been old months. Workers in Nigeria have been old months. You see, you, I, initially I read, you know, some governor saying, oh, we were not elected to just pay salaries. I felt it was one of those, uh, you know, publications in the news that you cannot substantiate. Until I saw a video of Rocha Sukrocha, you know, he left me statued. Just like one of his statues in uh, Imo State. He said, you said governors are not elected to pay salaries. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. See, if you have people that are not serious, you can never record progress or development. The minimum wage is not for a governor to say, I can pay or I cannot pay. The minimum wage is the barest minimum that a worker should earn. So if you're coming to say, oh, our resources are stretched, we are struggling, uh, we, workers should be, even the 18,000, so people cannot even pay. Talk more of, to now, pay minimum. Maybe the question is not, maybe the statement is the not Nigerian that they Labor pay. Congress, The Nigerian Labor Congress needs to do more. They can pay, they are just not paying. No, they have not paid. They, they, they cannot pay now. They, Whether they, they can they, pay or they can't pay, fact of the matter is you the cannot minimum, or you are not currently paying Your minimum, minimum wage, wage is not for you to say, oh, this is, uh, this is, I mean, we have laws in place, and that is why the National Assembly should act quickly. But then again, like I always say, there are two classes of Nigerians, the political class and the suffering masses. Until we begin to participate actively in the process of government and governance, where we ask questions, begin to question people. Somebody tells me, oh, we cannot pay minimum wage, or well, how many workers? When you look at the various um, civil service in the States, how many workers are there? Chukudi, you mentioned that the Nigerian Labor Congress should do more. In your analysis so far, how well have they fared? We understand a lot of people have argued that the Nigerian Labor Congress has been politicized, and we're seeing even divi division within the Congress itself with the Ayuba led, Ayuba Waba led faction and the Joya Jeru led, led faction. Have they done enough so far? You see, the Nigerian Labor Congress is. With regards to minimum wage, is the question. The minimum wage forms the foundation and the core now because whatever the person earns is what the person survives on. The Nigerian Labor Congress is supposed to be a pressure group, right? And the Nigerian Labor Congress is supposed to protect and advance the interests of the Nigerian worker, right? And we are here still discussing about the deplorable condition of Nigerian workers. Have they really lived up to their foundational objective? It's a simple question. Look at the average Nigerian worker. Look at how the Nigerian worker strives or struggles to survive. Look at the Nigerian Labour Congress. I mean, and they tell yourself if they are fulfilled, if they are fulfilled. And see, people will come and tell you, ah, Nigeria, we have suffered in this country. And you know why? Because a lot of us have resorted to divine help. Oh, God will help us. And will come and, ah, when it's happening, God will, I don't want to say. See, if we do not begin to actively say that those who have shown incapacity should not, should never find their way in government, then we'll continue to suffer. And we're looking at a situation where, look, it's so, it's so simple. The primary essence of governance, security and welfare for your people. Whether you keep that minimum wage at 18,000, whether you put that minimum wage up to 65,000, if you're still not providing welfare for your people, how exactly do you expect your people to actually gain a higher living standard? Even it is minimum, close to Even impossible. if the minimum wage is a million naira, eh, and you do not improve human capacity, there mm -hmm. would still be a problem because the person will still pay more to out send their pockets, children to pockets. school, you know, to get health care, yeah. to survive, and, you know, for rent and the rest of them. What our focus should be is trying to improve living conditions. In social studies, we were taught that the, the basic necessities of life are food, clothing, and shelter. In Nigeria, it's a luxury. 
in See, Nigeria, it's struggle. Such a luxury. The indeed. same governors that are coming and saying that they were not elected to pay salaries are the same governors that are not even doing the primary essence of governance in itself. Somebody so, will build a tunnel. You will come to your state and build tunnel. You want to you want to convert your state to Malaysia to Singapore. You will build tunnel. And your people are still hungry. It's still in Nigeria that we're seeing people now. Governors, you know, having celebrations, massive celebrations, and they're celebrating them for building statues and commending them. We need to do a better. A governor in Nigeria in the southwest of Benin, Rafa, and Bishola, celebrated his birthday for one week. I mean, it's not easy to be 60. Really, we must admit. So he started from Monday, like Solomon Grandi. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so on, and his own salaries. Well, this is where we wrap up the conversation, but of course it has not come to an end. On Hello Nigeria, we would always speak on these pressing issues, demanding for the change that we deserve. We deserve better and better we will get. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Two more days to the um, deadline for the registration of PVCs, and if you haven't gotten yours, please would like to remind you again to please go out there, get registered, and be a part of the change that we so desperately seek. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.